ladies and gents, um, I'm going to show you how to alter and etch the mirror of this um, vanity mirror. This is a uh, dollar store find. I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn it into something fabulous and shabby chic or maybe just something totally different. Don't know yet, but I have some ideas. But I wanted to show you how you can... Um, just redo it and have fun and it would be an awesome little gift to give to um, a teenager or a girl you can um, etch it to you etch it and decorate it to what um, to their style or liking or whatever so I'm going to show you step by step the video will be speeded up and I hope you enjoy okay what you're going to want to do is put about two to three coats onto the plastic mirror. What this is going to do is create a base that where you can glue your elements onto the mirror. If you don't do this, um, your elements are more than likely going to fall off because hot glue really doesn't work well with a slick plastic unless you sand it a little bit to give it a bite or put some gesso on it. And I completely covered the mirror with gesso and as you can see I taped off the mirror so that I have clean crisp edges and I wouldn't have to have as much cleanup at the end. And it just comes out really nice with this. Now I'm preparing um, my word beautiful uh, for etching. I'm using etch all and the etching mask and the etching transfer paper. Um, you can get all of these products at www.etchall.com and these steps that I'm showing you here are steps that I have shown in previous tutorials. Um, it's to prepare you for your etching. Here I am cleaning out the centers of the letters and then I'm fixing to begin to tape around the word beautiful because I do not want any etching cream on anywhere on that mirror except for what I want etched which is the word beautiful. When you apply the etching cream please be generous with it and then allow 15 minutes for it to etch and then you're going to clean it and rinse the etching cream off. You're going to pull off all your vinyl and then you're going to want to clean your mirror again to reveal your beautiful etching. Now here I am preparing uh, the mirror by gluing different elements onto the perimeter of the mirror. Now these elements range from flowers to beads to broken jewelry to broken brooches, earrings, um, charms, just anything that is little and, and that I can get glued around this mirror. Now one thing that I like to do is I like to glue my larger pieces first and then my smaller pieces. Um, what this does is this allows me to add more to the piece and I can hide different things in there, you know, more beads and everything. So. Um, that every time you look at it you're always finding something different. Um, it's very pleasing to the eye and uh, it's a really easy design concept and it's definitely a cost cutting one because of all those little pieces that we tend to share from past projects or find that broken pieces and everything. Um, this, these types of projects would be great for this concept. And I'm just simply hot gluing them. I am not doing them in no particular pattern. I am just, you know, putting them on there. And as you can see, I move the mirror around a lot to see how it's going to look. I flip it around. And again, this helps with placement. And you, again, with to give you a very uh, uniformed yet haphazard um, design concept. Um, I really, really like this type of crafting because I get to use up all my junky pieces <laughs> that tend to cl uh, clutter um, several different compartments on my craft table. Um, it's very fun and this would be great for kids to try providing, you know, you uh, they can uh, use the hot glue gun. Now I am applying um, the gesso 
onto the mirror. Um, and I am covering all of those elements that I just glued on there. Now some of the gesso is stronger than air in some areas than the other ones. Um, I mainly left the flowers just with a single coat and some of the pearls have um, two coats on them and then I wipe away some of the gesso off of the rhinestone pieces that I've put on there to reveal a shabby chic look with them. Now what I'm doing now is I am gluing back on or gluing on additional pieces that are never going to see gesso. Um, these pieces are pearls, pieces of bling, um, they're strong accent pieces that pop off and they give it a more three-dimensional look. Um, I use string pearls and just anything that would make it pop. Now, this next thing I'm doing is I'm decoupaging the bottom half of the, the bottom of the mirror, the base. And I'm using Deb Lagrange, one of my DTs. Um, she prints custom-made napkins, and they're absolutely stunning. I will put a link to her store in the description box down below. Um, so I'm just doing the simple decoupage technique that you've seen me do before. And I'm just, again, gluing the base to give the base some more um, eye-pleasing character to keep it to not look so stark white against the already just so washed items onto the, on the mirror. It just gives it some more color and design. Now this is the finished piece. Um, as you see I've added a bow. I went back in and added some more pieces. This is the decoupaged base. <coughs> and as you can see um, I gessoed some of the flowers and I gessoed more on areas than the others. Um, this is a good example of cleaning off the rhinestone, but yet leaving it shabby chic. Um, again, there's pearls and flowers and bling that I let, didn't even paint. Um, here I added a rhinestone spray, and it's just a really fun project. And then finally, this is the word beautiful that etched out with etch all. Simply stunning, and I'm very pleased with the way it come out. I hope this has enticed you to try